Point to Essie, hey. I'm sure we'll find a use for that sometime. I asked before, companion. What are your thoughts on our relationship? You're a funny one, follower. You know, most people get sick of me by now. I've tried being with gangs and cam heads and all sorts, but I never really fitted in. You seem to accept me, though. It's nice. Uh, yeah, those weren't the best of times. But this city grinds you down, you know? The gentry sit on top, squeezing down on everyone underneath. If you don't want to be a productive member of the serving class, you have two options. Fight back, or look for escape. And a shot of hero sure gives some lovely escape. Mostly. Now and then, I try some new things. I've heard of people seeing other realms and speaking to mystic beings when on the right cams. I've always wanted a taste of that. But these days, I mostly get a dodgy stomach and trouble sleeping. Sure I was. I mean, aren't most people at some point? Unless you're gentry scum or a suck-up Tommy, it's not easy to survive otherwise. I've been in and out of a few different groups, but I was never good at following rules and respecting hierarchies and all of that nonsense. I work better following my own rules. Oh, you know, the usual. Shut your trap, Kira. Do what you're told, girl. You're a useless fucking mental bitch. That sort of thing. What was it the old master said to my dad before they sent me away? That girl is positively unhinged. These fits of hers are utterly deranged. If she has one more episode, I shall have her caned and sold as chattel. Tosspot. He sure was. I used to live in a big country manor out east. My mum was a maid and my dad worked the grounds. Upstairs were a bunch of toffs who owned the place. <laughs> Pretty much owned us. My mum brought me up as a serving girl. I fucking hated it. Every sneer. Every mockery. Every beating. 
I remember it all. Scumbag gentry think they deserve to rule over everyone because they were born with a silver spoon rammed up their ass. I wish I'd burned the place to the ground before I'd left. No, not exactly. After the toss pot made his speech, I went around smashing every valuable piece of china in the building. One of my little fits. <laughs> So, they beat me blue and shipped me off to London, aged 14, to slave in an Isle of Dogs workhouse. Said it was for my own good. That place was hell. Worse than anything I can describe. But I escaped my cage. Lived on the streets for a while, till I eventually found my feet and started to make my own life. And that, dear friend, is the tragic backstory of Kira the Treasure Hunter. Hell no. I'd probably be shot on sight. But maybe one day, I can go take my family out of there. Once real fame and fortune come my way, I can go back and buy the manor myself. Turn old Tosspot out on his ear and let my parents own the estate. Ha! But it's just a dream, Kara. Just a dream. Hey, don't be sorry. What happened to your comedic support? You're supposed to cheer me up at times like this. But I have to admit, I've never told this stuff to anyone before. I've never felt able. Thanks for listening. You're a good friend. <laughs>